Welcome back. I'm Pastor Cat. This is your weekly encouragement. Well, winter is finally here. Christmas is over. We are at the end of the year, 2019. And that brings my heart and my mind to look towards 2020. And so what comes to mind for most of us at the end of the year is what is your New Year's resolution for this year? I have a handful of suggestions. We're gonna focus on just one today. And my New Year's resolution for this year, Pastor Cat, is I'm gonna stop worrying and start trusting God more. I encourage you to take this journey with me. When you begin to think about worry, my mind turns to the book of Philippians. Philippians chapter four, to be specific. We'll be starting in verse six. I'll read it, then we'll talk about it. Be anxious for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all comprehension, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. When you begin to think about anxiety and worry, the Bible is actually very clear. It's not like you need to work on it or you need to do X, Y, and Z to get there. He simply says, do not be anxious. However, we're given a suggestion. Instead of being anxious, with prayer and supplication, take everything to the Father. Once you've made your request known to God, that peace that comes only for Him, that surpasses all other comprehension, fills you and will guard your heart and your mind in Christ Jesus himself. You may be wondering exactly what the specifics are. He goes on in verse eight, it says this. Finally, brethren, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is of good repute, if there's any excellence and if anything worthy of praise, dwell on these things. The things you have learned and received and heard and seen in me, practice these things and the God of peace will be with you. I don't know about you, but having the God of peace with me this year sounds like an amazing blessing. And all I have to do is turn over all my worries and all my anxieties and take them all to the Father. Pray about them first and let that peace overwhelm me so that my heart can be with Him. So as we pursue that this year, there's two quick suggestions. Number one, look around and see how God has been faithful to others around you. What has God done in their lives? Make note of it this year so that you can begin to see God's work through the world that you live on. Number two is to look back on how he's been faithful to you and to me already. So I can lean on both of those things. One, what God is doing in the world around me. Number two, what he's already done in my life. And number three, make sure that before we let worry take over our lives this year, take everything to him first and let his peace indwell us. Well, I pray this has been as encouraging to you as it has been to me. I will see you again next week. God bless. Be encouraged. Thank you.